happy August, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for another monthly message video. Yes, thank you. We appreciate you all tuning in each month uh, to get the updates and the insight from the association. Uh, I'm so excited today to share that we have the chair of the Leadership Development Committee. This is Monica Miller. Monica is also immediate past president of the association, and I'm so glad to have you here today and so glad to learn a little bit more about the Leadership Development Committee. And so if you would, kick us off and just share a little bit about the Leadership Development Committee, what you guys do, and why you decided to join. For sure. The Leadership Development Committee, its mission is to foster activities that maintain and promote a pool of future leaders for RSCK, including identifying qualified and a broad base of representation on the Board of Directors and its committees. I belong on this committee because I believe the number one thing as a leader, a volunteer leader, is to find your replacement. So our job is to identify and mentor the next level of gen the next generation of leaders. Currently, our Leadership Development Committee is recruiting members to join the 2024 committees. Applications are open now until the end of August, and we have 10 committees at RSCK, as well as the MLS committee and CIC committees who are currently looking for new members as well. The insight and talent that they can bring to the table is very important to our committees. If you are interested in getting involved, check out RSCK's website for more information on each of our committees and for those applications. You can also pick up a brochure from the leadership committee. Um, on it, there's a QR code on the back to apply for any positions. It has a brief description of our committees and the leadership development team that can uh, give you more insight on those committees and make sure you apply for one that's a good fit for you. Um, if you have any questions on any of the committees, also feel free to reach out to me or anyone up here as well. We'd love to give you the information you need and get you on our team. Excellent. Thank you, Monica. Um, there are so many ways to get involved as a realtor and a member of our association. And so joining the board of directors or the committee or RCK or MLS or the commercial side, those are all incredible ways to be part of the positive change for our association and for each of us. However, um, if you want to get involved, I highly recommend getting started at the committee level. Uh, I've been on several committees over the last number of years, uh, both on the MLS side and on the association side, and currently even on the CIE committee. And to anybody that's considering putting in an application, but you're not quite sure, I'd tell you that really it's an opportunity to one, network, two, learn more about the governance and the or operations of the association, um, and just become a better agent. I think that's a big factor because the more active you are, the more involved you are, the more meeting and greeting and, and introducing yourselves to other practitioners that you function with on a daily basis in your, in your day job um, makes you a better agent. And so if you are looking at getting your feet wet at the association before diving in, go look at those committees. And um, the other thing is go look at the education. You know, so if you're not quite ready for the committee level, you say, I just want to learn more. We have some excellent education opportunities downtown at RCK, and so there's some great education, there's great events. Um, just start getting involved. That's the number one thing, is just show up, uh, attend, and um, meet and greet, and you'll learn some things. And so watch out for what we're doing and talk to members who are on the committees or on the board. Um, you'll be able to gain some insight, I imagine, that helps you kind of identify where you may be the best fit within the association. And so we'd love to see some new faces, and we certainly encourage people to get outside of their comfort zone and get involved downtown. Absolutely, we do. Thank you, Braden, for sharing your experience on the committees, and to Monica for sharing yours as well. I appreciate that. Um, as Braden said, there are more ways to get involved, such as attending classes and events, and we actually have a brand new event this month that we're very excited to share. On August 11th, YPAN is going to be co-hosting a fun dairy oaky, karaoke style event with RPAC. So come enjoy food, drinks, and even a chance to dare other members to sing a song of your choosing. You can buy a safety wristband to protect yourself from being dared to sing all night, but these are not gonna be available to everybody, such as people on the board like Braden and Monica. So come and dare them to sing a duet. I think they would love to get up there and entertain us. Um, we also have a great classes being taught this month on August 10th and 17th, so be sure to look at that information on our website. And as always, for a full list of classes and events this month, please visit the RSCK website, check our weekly e-report, and the social, social media pages as well. Well, thank you, Elena. Um, this is kind of news. Elena puts these scripts together. And um, 
Monica and I just realized that she's now excluded us from the safety wristband. Um, so we're gonna rope her into that uh, bucket as well and um, consider her unsafe as well. And um, come on down, dare Elena to sing the song of your choosing. Uh, we're gonna have fun, but ultimately we're raising money for our pack and that's what it's really all about. And so thanks Elena for being here. Thanks especially to Monica for one, your leadership over the last few years. Um, but then in addition to that, you know, again, paving the way for, for my leadership year here. And so everybody, we just uh, enjoy your August and we look forward to seeing you next month as well. Thank you. <laughs>